All right, it locked. Now let's unlock it. Ta-da. This is the RV Lock Atlas, and they have released an RV Lock. The RV Lock Company, which is out of Utah, has finally released a lock for a motorhome. We ordered the lock, and we also ordered the separate little gizmo that will make it so that it Bluetooths to our phone. I'm not sure if we have it in this box. Let's take a look. Let's open it up and see what's inside the box. All right, this is what's inside. What's there? I'm not sure what that is. Okay. This looks like it's a wrench. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Oh, there it is right there. There's it did the come. Module. Yep. Excellent. So keyless. Oh, look, it comes in a cool bag and everything. Well, that's the heavy rock part. Okay, well, then that's very the cool. Box. All right, well, there we go. Take a look at what it looks like. <gasps> looks gorgeous. Okay. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's the right size. All right. Let's see what's in this little bag. Not really sure. Oh, oh it's a cute little remote. Nicely packaged. Hmm, I like it. Yep. All right. Okay. So we have everything we need. We have the lock. We have the remotes. And we have whatever that the gizmo Bluetooth is module. that makes it so it works with our phone. And they sent a cool screw griffer. There you go. All right, so this is how cool and high tech they are. There's actually no instructions inside the box. Instead, there's a QR code that you scan and you get the instructions. So Derek's gonna do that on his phone. Let's see what comes up. How to install it. Yep. Very cool. Looks like a video, is it? Or pictures? All of the above. Installation video. Oh, there's. There's ours right there. The Atlas. Very good. All right. Let's take a look at how it works. So I have watched the video, and they had the first part of it was verifying that the setup we have should work, and I verified that. The next step is to actually take the lock and test it to verify that it is functional. And then we take out the old one and put in the new one. And then we program it and get it all set up. So I'm gonna start by verifying that this works. Zero one screws. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so the, the little beeping there indicates that it wants to have the battery charged, which we will do after we get it installed. You can see there's a little port right here where you can charge it. Okay. And you got two keys. 
Now, it's on to taking out the open. This is the calibration bolt, yep. and that has to be unscrewed, yes. which we almost forgot. Well, but you can't take it off <laughs> without doing it, so. Yep. I got it. Try putting it in. Well, it's hitting this. this. If I look a little puzzled in this video, it's because I was. I was trying to figure out why the door handle wasn't seating fully into place. So when I took the old handle out, I saw this bracket, and it was different than what they had shown in an RV locks installation video, which and they also said that some motorhomes had different setups. So I thought, well, I just need to work with this bracket there. And so over the next few hours, I tried a variety of different things and um, eventually got one that seemed to work. However, the next day we found ourselves locked inside of our motorhome. We were able to get out of the motorhome by taking the door handle off from the inside and getting the door open. And so I worked some more and eventually thought, why don't we try just removing the bracket completely and seeing if that works. And in fact, that worked quite well and the installation went very quickly and smoothly after that point. I'm gonna just put this in. Right in place. I'm going to hook up these wires. All right, so here it is all finally in place. And now what's next? The next thing is to adjust this screw here. The calibration nut is initially installed just far enough so that it doesn't fall off. That gives you enough play so that you can connect the wires and get the inside and outside pieces of the handle to fit together. Once you have the two pieces together and the screws installed, the calibration nut can be adjusted so that both handles will open up the latch. I found what worked best for us is to adjust the nut slowly while testing both handles, both the inside and outside handles, to make sure that they would open the latch. If the nut is too loose or the nut is too tight, the handles will not open the latch properly. I think, see this is the lock. Okay. 
and okay so now wait 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 should we open that window yes and i'll <laughs> go inside okay one of the things that they caution you about in the video is don't get yourself locked inside or outside so we just opened a window so that that doesn't happen okay all right it locked now let's unlock it ta-da yay all right, now there's also supposed to be a quick lock, so let's try that. You just hold the lock button down. And that works. It's locked. Excellent. We're going to reset the factory code with our code. And there's a reset button right there. No, that's learn, this is reset. So we're gonna press that. And but we're, not gonna... but we're not gonna film that. Resetting the code is very simple. Using a ballpoint pen, press and hold the reset button until it beeps. Then go out, type in your new code, press lock, press your new code again, press lock, it will beep, and now your code is set to what you need it to be. All right, so we have successfully reset the lock and the keypad, and now it's time to teach the key fobs what the code is. And All right, well, we got it installed. Mm -hmm. um, it probably took us a little longer than it needed to. Yeah. <laughs> but with anything that's new and anything that's, um, you know, it's one product made for multiple setups. Yeah. Setups. There's a lot of different doors on a there lot of really different RVs. Are. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and the one that they show in the video, and they do emphasize that there are, your setup might be different, and ours was. They show this, like the single plate mm -hmm. that did look like it was part of the actual structure of the door. Right. This looked initially like it was part of the structure of the door, but we don't think it is. So in any case, we found that in our situation, taking this bracket out seemed to make it so that we could get the handle installed and working properly for our situation. If you find that you have a bracket like this in your setup and you're having difficulty installing the handle, you may want to take the bracket out or at least try taking this bracket out and seeing if that helps you too. Yeah. Once we got it out, this the installation was really fast. Yeah. Probably as fast as what they say, 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah. You know. Um, it was just made harder by us, by the newness of it and not knowing about this bracket. Um, but we got it to work. Uh -huh. We're very happy with it. And yeah, we're glad that we can now uh, just punch in a few numbers or press a, a fob and open the door. And exactly. Just press a button and lock it. It's really we do convenient. have the uh, BT Pro, the Bluetooth module. Um, we, got, we have it set up on one phone. I'm going to do a separate video on... The Bluetooth connection. I did find out though that in, if you want to have two phones connected at the same time, you do need two units. I did check with um, RV. RV Lock on that, and so that is the case with that. But um, when we're together all the time, you know, like we're together all the time, um, it's really not a problem to have it on one phone. Yeah. So, but I will do a separate video on the Bluetooth uh, aspect of the RV Lock, the Atlas RV Lock. What are our thoughts on the Atlas RV lock? Do we like it? One star, five stars? What do you think? I, I give it five stars. I definitely would buy this again. Absolutely. Yep. And would recommend to anybody, if you have a motorhome and you want a keyless entry, 
by all means, look into the Atlas RV lock. Uh, just know that, you know, it might take a little time to get it in and get it set up, but um, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. So definitely, we 100% recommend it and um, feel free to give RV lock a call. Go to their website, rvlock.com. Um, yeah, go get one. That's what we say. That's going to do it for this episode. We're very happy that you were able to join us. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and ring the bell to get notified. You bet. And until next time, Russell's friends, you take care. Bye.